Today we are upgrading the radiator for my F-350. If you've watched the other video, you would know that I previously had a Spectra supposed Super Duty cooling radiator. This is the one that came out of the truck. This is the radiator we're switching to. It's an all aluminum um, Summit brand. Um, not trying to shill for Summit, but you can see here, this is supposed to be the, the uh, Super Duty cooling model that they say is two and uh, three eighths. Well, it's not, it's two and three sixteenths. This doesn't have enough cooling to tow in the summer. And if you have a thermostat in the truck and it's not like every bit of cooling out that you can do, it's not enough. And then here we have, oops, missed the hook. Here we have um, the Summit brand radiator. They only claim it's 2.9 inches or 2.8 inches or something. And you can see it's pretty much right on the dot, a three inch uh, core. Uh, they give you pretty much exactly what you pay for. Not some bullshit Spectre Chinese piece of crap. Um, anyways, so I'm sure if you're in this video, you don't need to see how to install it. But um, we will do a little bit at the end to show you that it does uh, actually fit in the truck. Okay, got the radiator all installed. Uh, spilled a little coolant here, but you can see the only weird thing, it's got the factory mechanical and the factory fan shroud. Um, it's got a space here because the tank um, isn't small or isn't larger than the, the core on the inside, which I'm fine with. If it, if it comes down to it, we could always uh, fab something up to put there. Um, but uh, we're gonna take it on a test drive and see how coolant temps are. By the way, we've got a um, I didn't want the radiator cap that came with it, so uh, I bought a Motorcraft one off of Amazon RS90. Um, this is the factory cap. It's supposed to be a 16-pound cap. Or AutoZone or you know any normal local par store will sell you a 13-pound cap for this truck, but the Super Duty cooling model is supposed to have a 16-pound cap. Um, so, and we did put uh, a brand new uh, Superstat in it, um, a 195 thermostat. So, we're gonna see. Uh, how she does. Okay, so this is after a nice long test drive. Um, this is exactly when uh, my truck used to get warm. It's not, it would never overheat, but it would get uh, past the L, um, like pretty much right just at the L or just after the L. And that would just be sitting in park with the AC running during the hottest part of the day, which it's about 5.30 in the afternoon right now. Um, it is definitely the hottest part of the day. Um, it's it's way over 100 right now outside, uh, ambient temperature. Uh, and my truck would definitely be running hot normally right now. Well, not normally, obviously, but previously uh, with that piece of shit Spectra. Um, so uh, for right now, I'm gonna say it looks like a problem either band-aided or solved. <laughs> 